<laughs> Hi again, everyone, and welcome back. Um, I pressed the wrong button and I indirectly uh, closed down my um, uh, emulator. So we're going to continue on. We're going to take a first aid, uh, not a first aid spray, we're going to take a green herb and um, we're going to heal up. I'm uh, also going to have handgun. Which handgun is selected? Small lumber gun, which is made from plastic. And it's famous for its stability. The gun is, is famous for its excellent precision thanks to its rotating barrel low back action. So we're gonna I'm gonna equip this. I'm gonna equip a different gun. All the guns are um All the guns are, uh, pistols are unlimited ammo. No one, something admitted to this room without a permit. Janitor's janitor and his diary. Sewer caretakers and the uh, caretaker and his diary. September 6th. I've never seen him, but I've heard the one called Vincent has become the city's supreme commander. Officially, he is an elite sent by Umbrella headquarters. In truth, he is such a friend, a fiend, that he would not hesitate to kill his friend if it would promote him. Well, since I have lived. Since I live here in this dark sewer, it doesn't re mean anything to me. September 20th. How long was it? Oh, quite a long time. I heard a discussed rumor. A new commander, the new commander Vincent orders, uh, Vincent orders the facility personnel to do savage experiments every day on kids brought in from all over the world. I don't even know why these kids were brought to the city, but it's sure disturbing. Well, I don't want to get involved. Well, I don't want to get I want to get involved as long as it doesn't affect me. Either. October 10th. It seems that some ter uh, some terrible incident happened above ground last night. I don't know any more details, but I heard that Commander Vincent has done some thing, something cruel. November 9th. Today, at last, Commander Vincent came down for an inspection. We had a small talk, but I could see nothing but cruelty in him. When I took a picture of him as a souvenir, he became very angry. He is such a jerk. A picture. No, this is me. I am Vincent. It was all my fault. Shotgun bullets, nice. Echoey for some reason, I don't know why that is.
Chief's diary. October 20th. Today we received a reply to our report about the incident where 20 guinea pigs committed suicide the other day. The headquarters does not seem to have any suspicions, any suspicions and says that they plan to gather a place for guinea pigs soon. It's too, it's too late, but now I'm starting to regret that, that I sent a fake report of a massive suicide incident when it was actually a massive escape. A massive escape. However, as long as I stay in this city, it means death to me if I dare to oppose Commander Vincent. I'll never forget the, the, the cool smile of Vincent when he was shooting at the boys who tried to escape from the prison that, that night. I looked, it looked as if he was, he, he was killing a bunch of insects. Commander Vincent is indeed a cold-blooded person, very cold-blooded person, just as he is rumoured to be, he is a murderer. I am in a position where I'm supposed to report the truth to headquarters, but I'm so afraid of my events and I don't know what to do. Go like take a, a tour, of, like a detour from the park main path, and uh, get a key. What's that? Rope. Oh, okay. Diary and prison boys' diary. September 5th, 
16 days have passed since I was abducted on the street in, Con in Congo by the men in black and brought and was brought here. I didn't understand what was happening at first, but I gradually began aware of the truth of the city. We seem to be confined here to serve as guinea pigs for a medical company called Umbrella Inc. All the residents of the city work for Umbrella, even the women and children are family members of the employees. The guinea pigs seem to be gathered from all over the world. The guy in the next room is from China. The one in front of my cell is from Brazil. The rest are Russian J uh, Japanese. It's like a world trade show. It's strange that they are not all around my age. The youngest is 16 and the oldest is 19 or 20. The guys from Umbrella sometimes take us to the arcade or to a nightclub so we can enjoy ourselves and to relieve our stresses. But I won't let them deceive me. I will escape from this place no matter what it takes. I must, I must, I must. Anyway, the most important thing to do, uh, to do now is to organise and gather our comrades for what lies ahead. September 10th. Recently, the others have been behaving strangely. It seems that they put some kind of weird drug into our meals. It's uh, I sometimes lose consciousness too. Con consciousness too. I have to be careful. September 21st. I can't believe it. Another f friend of mine, Jin, from the next room, was taken to the factory to unman it. I don't think Jin is coming back. He will meet the same fate as Anna or Jacob, who disappeared last week. I know I know what happens to those who are taken to the factory on the mountain. We took, When they took me to a nightclub yesterday, I overheard a conversation that some factory workers were having. Under orders from Vincent, the commander of the city, they, are, they cut open our brains and extract some kind of material, whatever they call it. All I can say is that Vincent is a devil. No, not just Vincent, even the women and children in the city don't treat us as human beings. But as guinea pigs, all the people in the city are evil. I, sure, I will surely be killed if I stay here any longer. We have to hurry and execute our escape plan. October 9th. The time has come. I have noticed that the umbrella people have been visibly disturbed for about a week or so. Rumour has it that there was a terrible accident somewhere at, at an umbrella laboratory somewhere in America. All the prison guards seem to be very busy gathering information on the internet, so security isn't this time. We organised our comrades, or we all organised our cameras, right? Sotrovich and Ekrenes are supposed to steal the keys from guards. Sak Sakion and I will act as decoys, and Yoshikwakala and Felipe are in charge of gathering weapons. October 10th. Decided on our escape route. The plan will be carried out at 11 pm tonight. We have 20 members separated into two units Unit A and Unit B. Unit A will go into the sewer through the ventilation uh, slot of the confine of the convenient. I can't spell that word. R of that word, of that word, room. While Unit B will use a rope to climb down from the surveillance tower. We will use the rope they. We will use the rope that they use to tie us. To tie us. We we will use the rope they use to tie us. If we fail, Vincent will surely kill us. But if we stay here, Vincent will order them to cut our brains out eventually. We're dead either way. But I'd rather die in trying to escape. Wow. It's really like they put a lot of detail into like the actual story of this. It's very, it's very simple, but it's very good.
when I got a fucking shotgun. I think I'm gonna, um... the shotgun and everything because the shotgun isn't unlimited whereas the pistol is Fucking hunters! Shit! Holy crap. I can't get a shot on them! A few moments later Maybe I don't need to go worry about going through this prison because I've already explored everything I don't know where else I need to go
understand me. I used the fucking first aid spray. No chance. <laughs> oh, my God, first death. Where do I start from? Oh, you have a set amount of continues. Very arcadey, this game. Oh my, we're right back here. Really? I have to go all the way through this fucking thing again. Fucking hell. Alright guys, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this video uh, and I'll meet you back in the room where we fought the moth. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Get off me!